Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we are going to solve a system of three equations with three variables in a real simple and easy way. So the very first step we want to do is to make sure that all our x variables are nicely lined up like over here and likewise y variables and z variables as well and the numbers on the right hand side of this these equal signs the next thing i want you to ask yourself is there anything is missing over here you see there's a kind of empty spot so here y is missing so that means it's a zero so we can write zero y with the plus sign all right one more thing over here is just a z we can write z as what one z and one is going to be is coefficient now i just want to make sure that we have what coefficients we got we got two four negative three five zero seven two negative six and one and we've been asked to solve this system whenever we need to solve this system we must find these three variables that means we must find x variable we must find y and z variables these ones so let's go ahead and get started with this one over here now the very first thing what i want you to do is i want you to put down x right up here now we're going to play a nice kind of game okay just look at this thing how we're going to do this one i want you to put a one big box on the top and one big box on the bottom these boxes are called by the way these are called determinants i'm going to write down over here these are called determinants so so the y is going to also have a one determinant or the box on the top likewise it has one on the bottom and for z it's going to be what on the top and on the bottom so that's where your very first step you must draw these boxes next thing i want to make sure that you look at these coefficients of all these variables on the left hand side let's go ahead and put it down those one in the same order at the bottom determinants so it's going to be what it's going to be two five two four zero negative six and this is going to be what a negative three seven and what one likewise over here as well two five two four zero negative six and negative three right up here seven and what one and again same thing over here as well the bottom determinants their number is going to be same so it's going to be two over here five two four zero negative six and this is going to be what negative three seven and what one that's your first step now look at these red numbers on the right hand side i want you to put down those numbers for x they're gonna appear they're gonna show up at the very left hand side column over here negative eight nine zero for y they're gonna shift to the middle so you put down negative eight nine and zero for the for the z variable they're gonna shift all the way to the right hand side 
once you have taken care of that one, we need to fill out now these two empty columns. Ask yourself what are the entries or the numbers underneath over here for this middle column. The underneath numbers are what? Four, zero, negative six. I want you to push them up. In other words, I want you to copy and paste and put it right up here. So this column, middle column, is going to show up over here as well. So it's going to become four, zero, negative six. And then likewise over here, this for this third column over here, the empty column, you just copy and paste this one underneath this one, negative three, seven. You just push them up. So this is negative three, seven, and what? One. Likewise, we're going to fill out these two empty columns exactly same way. So for this empty columns, you see the numbers under those ones are what? 252. Two. Just copy and paste and write it down. 252. Two. And over here for this empty column, you just copy and paste these numbers. Negative 3, 7, and what? 1. And finally, over here, same thing. Copy and paste these bottom numbers over here. So that's going to be what? 2, 5, 2. Awesome. And 4, 0, and what? Negative 6. So our very first step has been taken care of. We have filled out all these determinants. And now what we're going to do next one is we will step by step, we're going to find the value of all these determinants. So let's go ahead and take care of that one. So now we, what we're going to do is we're going to take care of, we want to find the value of the bottom determinant. And you can see these bottom determinants are same. So we're going to find the value of this bottom determinant just once and put down the value. So let's take care of the bottom determinant. And for your convenience, I have already copied it down. This bottom determinant is the same like over here. So the very first step to evaluate this determinant is I want you to go ahead and look at these uh, two left hand columns two four five zero and two negative six i want you to copy and paste over here in other words they're going to spill over over here two four five zero and then what two negative six once again just keep in your mind that what we did the first two columns on this side over here i just simply copied those one and pasted outside over here on the right hand side so that's your very first step when you are uh, evaluating any determinant three by three so the next thing i want you to do like this one over here i want you to draw make a group of three diagonally three a group of three so the first group is this one negative three five negative six the second group is gonna be which one that's gonna be these this group and finally the next one is gonna be this one do you see that one? So we got these three groups over here. The next step, what I want you to do is I want you to multiply all these numbers inside that group. So two times zero times one is going to be how much? It's going to be, of course, it's going to be a zero. Go ahead and multiply two times seven times four is going to be how much? Fifty six. And then I want you to multiply these one. That's going to be how much? Uh, uh, negative 3 times 5 times negative 6 is going to be 90. So you write down 90. The next thing what I want you to do is just put a plus sign in between. Okay. So you just put a plus sign in between. And this is what? And add them up. So that is going to turn out to be how much? 100 and what? 46 on this side. 
Now we're going to do the other way around. We're going to now start making groups on the other side, like this one, a group of three, another diagonal way, this way, this time, the other way around. And this is going to be this way. See, you, there's no gimmick whatsoever. You can do it a uh, really simple way, like over here. Once again, what we're going to do is we're going to start multiplying this thing. This is going to be how much? 4 times 5 times 1 is 20. Over here, this is going to be how much? This is going to be 2 times 7. So that's going to be a negative 84. And this one over there, 0 times 2 times negative 3 is going to be what? zero on this side. By the way, this was a group of this side and now we are doing this one over here. We want to make sure we just put a plus sign in between. Okay, and let's go ahead and and again this now we're gonna add this group. So that is gonna be how much? Negative 84 plus 20 is going to give you what? It's going to give you negative 64. So once we got these things, now the next step is, once we found out these values, the next step is I want you to just simply put down this number, whatever this number is, 146 and then you must always put a minus sign in between and then I want you to put down negative 64. Now you can see that 146 negative and negative becomes positive 64 and that is going to give you how much? If you add them up that's going to give you 210. So the value of this bottom determinant, this is, I'm going to write down the bottom determinant, turns out to be 210. So I am going to write down over here 210 on the bottom. I'm going to write down 210 on the bottom. And likewise, I am going to write down 210 on the bottom since these bottom determinants are same. Now the next step we will be taking care of the top determinant. So we will be taking care of what? We will be taking care of the top determinant for x first. Let's go ahead and we're going to get started that one. So here is our top determinant for x variable. So I just copy it down already, as you can see over here. Let's go ahead and evaluate this one. As you know, we did in the previous example, we need to copy and paste the first two columns on the left-hand side on this side now. I'm going to put down negative 8, 9, and what? 0, and likewise, 4, 0, and what? negative 6. You just put it down right up here. So what we did is we just spilled those one over on the right hand side and then the next step is again start making a groups, diagonal groups of 3. So this is the first group. Put down like this one. This is going to be the second group and this is going to be the group 3. Let's go ahead and multiply these numbers right now. How much these numbers are going to be? You can see this one is 0 times 8 times 0 times 1 is obviously it is 0. And then this is going to be 0 times 7 times 4 is going to be again 0. And this one is going to be how much? This is going to be... 162 so by the way this is by the way this is 0 
and this is 162. What I want you to do next is I want you to put a plus sign in between and take care of them. So this is your very first group over here. Just put down. And once you add this thing, that's going to become what? 162 on this side. Now we're going to go ahead and draw up uh, more groups on the other side right now. So that's going to be how much? 4, 9, and 1 is going to be the one group. Real easy way. And this is going to be another group. And finally, this is going to be another group. So we got three groups over here. Let's go ahead and multiply those their numbers as well. Negative 3 times 0 times 0 is going to be how much? That's going to be a 0, of course. And this is going to be how much? Negative 8 times 7 times negative 6. That should be equal to 336 and then over here 4 times 9 times 1 is obviously which is what 36 now what I want you to do is simply add these numbers up once you add these numbers up go ahead and since this is our another group first of course you add this thing up that is gonna be how much this is gonna be 370 Two. Now our final step is I want you to put down this 162 right up here and then minus minus there's always going to be in between minus and then 372 and that should give us how much that our number is going to be what negative 210 is going to be our value of this determinant so this was you know that this was top x variable determinant so we took care of that one and now i want you to do our top determinants for y and z variable on your own i want you to take your time and even if you have to pause your video you can do so it's a really simple process and for your convenience what I did is I already took care of these determinants. So this is top y. I did the same process step by step and the top y value turns out to be how much? Zero and likewise for top determinant of z value uh, z variable turns out to be 420 so i'm going to go ahead and write down those ones on the top so let's go ahead and put it down that one over here where we started off right here you can see that one that was our original page so let's go ahead and put down so this was how much this was negative 210 and this is we figured out this was zero the top part and this is what 400 and what 20 so now the next step is simply what you need to do is only you need to simplify it negative 210 over 210 is simply what so our x value turns out to be how much negative 1 so i want to make sure this is negative 1 and let me double let me take care of this thing so let me write a big one negative 1 like this one and over here 0 is on the top and 210 that's going to be how much that is going to be 0 for what? y. And this is going to be how much? 420 over 210 equals to what? 2 is going to be z. So that means, so this turns out to be for y and this turns out to be z. So thus, I'm going to just put down over here with a different marker over here. I'm going to put down thus our solution 
to this system turns out to be what? Negative 1, comma, 0, comma, 2 is our solution. See how we did it? This is our answer. So I want to make sure you do step by step and practice it and you will be fluent in this method. And by the way, at the very end, this method is called Kramer's Rule. This method is called Kramer's Rule. And most of my students enjoy this method because it is super easy and hassle-free. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please share with your family and friends. Thank you so much. Bye.